Platz 2. We have got enough fight. We are fighting for justice. And what we want is any party that are willing to stand and help military families. And that is our fight. We don't want to get involved with arguments with all the arguments with this group. We have 300 families in the streets now. For military families. Nearly 400 we're reaching. And that is our aim to bring our troops home and get justice for our boys. We can't afford to get involved with anything. I want justice for my son. And I'm determined that we'll get justice because we will fight Tony Blair all the way in this. We do now have three days in the High Court, the three High Judge lawyers, top lawyers, from the 8th to 10th of November. And we'll just sit with them and they're going to hear our case. And if they think we have grounds, we will get Tony Blair and the rest of his puppets in court. Told, you'll do this for about three to four weeks and you'll give up. I'll never give up. As long as Tony Blair's standing here, I'll never give up. It's time for that man to go and take the ring up his home. How would Gordon feel? You're doing this. Well, if I walk into Gordon's room and I look at Gordon's picture, I know that boy saying to me, Mum, I still get friends out there and fight for my friends. A couple of Gordon's boys that were with him when he was killed have actually been so bad that they can't go back. And we've had families that's buried their sons twice. But you don't hear things like that either. One of the families brought their, got their son back in 24 different pieces. One of the other mothers buried her son and got a phone call saying they found who he to his remains. So how can we sit back and let that man that's murdered our sons get away with it? As I say, we, I'm here today to get the support from you, and I'll be asking to get the support tomorrow of Tommy and everybody else that's here. Our fight, as I say, is such for our boys, and if you are willing to support us, well, that's, that's fair enough for us. But we will fight ourselves. And on the 24th of September, military families will be launching their own party as well. And it's going to be a party that's going to go for everybody that supported this war. The families will be standing in every constituency and every MP that went for the war, they better look out because military families are not going to give in. But even getting families that their sons are sent to in Afghanistan coming forward as well now because they believe that boys were there for the same lives that other boys were sent to Iraq. The government think that we're grieving mothers. I ain't just a grieving mother, I'm an angry mother. And I think the mother's going to keep going and going because I can't give up Gordon's men and I won't give up for the rest of his pals. So please, if you are going to support us, that's what we need. We'll take any support from any party.